Ghastly Night, Souls I'll Keep. DHD is where horror meets. I am Doogie. This is Doogie's Horror Den. And let me tell you something right now. I've got a movie that'll fucking blow your head off. Because I have finally watched a movie I have been waiting for for a long fucking time. And I finally watched it and I am so happy that I've watched it. And if you know what I'm talking about, just take a look at this. You know exactly what movie I'm talking about when you see these. These motherfuckers right here. Yeah. But before I get into the movie, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and tell me what's your favorite weapon of choice in a horror movie. Because after this year, it might as well be these. I have a rating system. M murder. Fucking horrible movie. MD, it was just okay. But MDK, that's the one that scares you shitless and makes you wake up in the middle of the night with a nice cold sweat, looking in your fucking closet under your bed and making sure no creature of death is here. Now, let us get right into these reviews. The first one came out early 2024, directed by Chris Nash. This movie is called In a Violent Nature. Hell yeah. What happens when a necklace gets stolen from a I don't know, like a half-burned-down old shack. It's on top of a shallow grave. Some idiot takes it and it resurrects Johnny, a psychopathic killer who knows nothing but expiring people. And let me tell you something. In a violent nature was fucking awesome. I loved every second of it. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, it was boring, it was slow. Let me tell you something about this movie. This movie was not meant to be like every other goddamn horror movie. This was behind the serial killer Johnny the whole time as he walks and walks to claim his next victim. And I ate it up. I loved it. And this movie, this movie right here, hands down, has the best expiring of the year. I don't think anybody is going to touch this expiration. <coughs> if you can call it that. This, this person who got expired was brutal. It was awesome. I have never, ever seen anything like it. He gets this person, punches it through her chest, spins her around, pulls it back out, slams it in her head, and then pulls it with the other one, making her head go through her stomach and out her back. Legendary. That just... I was sitting there, watching it, and I was just like... Oh my god, this is the best thing I think I've seen Ooh, in a long time. I Probably not since, um, what Saw movie was it? I think it was two or three, where the girl had to put her hands in the saws that would cut up her, through her fingers until she got to the thing. Oh, I mean, oh, awesome. Just awesome. In a Violent Nature is one of the best horror movies 
of the year. And with that, cheers, hoist, skull to in a violent nature. And as you can guess, hell yeah, MDK for in a violent nature. And I heard that a sequel has been greenlit, so we will see more of Johnny in the future. Check it out on Shudder right now. So, my horror peeps, let me tell you something. Going further after this episode, I will be doing one episode, one movie, so I can talk more about the movies. But this one, this is the last one that I'm doing too. It's just about doing things a little bit differently. And so as I go into this second movie, I just want to remind everybody that I thank you all who has come in, subscribed, liked, watched this horror movie channel. Because, uh, hey, without you, I wouldn't be here. And I just love, love watching the horror movies and giving my take on it and whether or not, you know, they're good or bad. So, with this next one, this movie is on Screenbox. It was produced by Screenbox and Bloody Disgusting. It came out in 2024. Directed by Anthony Cousins. <coughs> now, I went into this movie severely thinking it was going to be fucking horrible. This movie is called Frog Man. Now, it starts off with this family that gets stranded on the side of the road, and this little boy sees this frog man, you know, and years later, he's an adult, but he still believes that he saw a frog man, and he's destined to find the truth of whether or not frog man actually exists. So three friends go to this town, to this wilderness, to find this frog man. And, you know, it kind of started off kind of, you know, kind of cheesy a little bit. Because, like, you don't know what the hell is happening. And <coughs> the one guy gets a tongued, I think, by the frog man. I don't know how else to explain it. He didn't get bit by it. Um... But this is where things start turning very, very weird and kind of creepy. It turns totally fucking left. The guy got licked or whatever by the frog man starts turning into a frog, a frog person. And they find a, a cult of frog worshipping people who are frogs and humans trying to make these frog human people... Holy shit, this movie was fucking insane. <clears throat> and I loved it. Not, I don't know what this person was on who made this movie, but like, I would have never, ever, in my wildest dreams, thought about anything like that. And so what turned into like, uh, what the fuck am I watching, turned into, holy shit, this is like a great movie. Not in my wildest dreams did I ever think that a movie called Frogman would be that damn good. But Frogman was great. You need to check it out on Screenbox right now. Frogman MDK Cheers and Skull to everybody involved in Frogman and everybody involved in Innovative Nature one more time. Let's hit it. That's two. Two MDKs. Phenomenal. These movies were great. Until next time, my horror peeps. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, hey, watch a horror movie. What's it gonna do? Scare you?